We're Cash and Dan from Escape to Explore and we've been travelling the world for the last 16 months. We travel from Ushuaia, the end of the world Argentina, to busy streets of Hanoi and many different countries. In this video, we're going to tell you our favourite places from Vietnam. Hi, Hi guys. guys! So we are currently in Langkawi in Malaysia and we're taking a bit of time out of our busy schedule to tell you the best places to go in Vietnam in 2023. We are going off our favourite places where we went. We're going to put it in top five list for you and we'll see what you think. And like as you see we're smiling, very funny. We just draw our individual list and we just literally shared them off camera. I regret it that we didn't share it on camera. We did our list, top five lists privately and then we thought okay let's share them with each other and they turned out to be exactly the same which is brilliant. It yeah. means we love the same place, we know yeah. what we like. So we're going to start with number five on our list. So number five, top places in Vietnam. For it us. is Cat Ba. Cat Ba Island, right next to Halong Bay. From Cat Ba Island, you go to Lan Ha Bay, which was amazing. Cat Ba Island, such a chill vibe, very quieter, lots of seafood restaurants, beautiful beaches. Exactly, so you can do Lan Ha Bay, which is the same as Halong Bay, the same limestone casts and everything. The tour from there is brilliant. Kayaking, lunch, swimming. We spoke to so many people who have done Halong Bay and they say they don't like the town Halong. It's so busy in Halong Bay for the tour, full of like container ships, all sorts of ships and other tours. If you go to the other one from Cat Bar, it'll be a much more chilled out, much more quieter, less touristy and all round better tour. Yeah. So that's why it's number five. Number four is Da Nang. Da -nang. This might surprise a few people. A lot of people miss Da Nang, a lot of people say it's just a city and all that. But I think you should give Da Nang a chance. This has got so. a long, beautiful, sandy beach. It is a wonderful yeah. beach. A lot of people stay uh, next to the river, but I think the beach was really nice. It's got the Dragon Bridge, which has a show every weekend, three times a weekend, which is really cool to see. But the main thing we love is the lovely beach and the hotels there you can get luxury hotels for so cheap because there's yes. so much competition you can get a really good deal on hotels a lot of nice restaurants yeah. just a good vibe of good vibe we really like it we really like yeah. to hang definitely check out the hotel prices because you will be surprised yeah. if you were on the budget like that we are we are sometimes we like a treat and yeah, going to Da Nang we had an amazing hotel for really cheap rooftop pool breakfast yeah. we're talking Really nice hotel, really great bedroom for £14. Yeah, it was crazy. That's why it's number four on our list. So, number three is Sapa. A few hours north of Hanoi. I always say it's two, three kind of travelers people going to Sapa, people going to do the Hagyang Club, or people doing both. We love Sapa. Say in a bungalow, in the trees. Sometimes you can't be, it's a bit unpredictable with the weather up there, but if you get good days, it can be really nice. The views are amazing over the rice fields. Heading down to Kat Kat Village, or you can do hikes to other remote villages. With the locals, you can stay with the locals. Yeah, Kat Kat Village, and you can also go to the top of the mountain, you can get oh, a cable yeah. car. But you just got to make sure it's a good day, so that's why we didn't do it. Yeah. But, so there's plenty to do in Sapa. Moving on to number two. Is Tam Kok. We spent there, what, eight nights? Eight nights. It's Most so people, much to do. when they say about this area, they say Ninh Binh. But Tam Kok, which is a little town next to Ninh Binh, is where you want to stay. Yes. Not in Ninh Binh, stay in Tam Kok. So much to do around there. A lot of people come for two, three nights and they pack so much yeah. because you have just crazy man. You've got a viewpoint. UNESCO World Heritage Site of so, Trang An, which is beautiful. Another boat tour in Tam, Tam Kok yes. where they pedal with their feet and you go under caves. You've got the biggest uh, Buddhist complex of Baiding. Baiding, the biggest Buddhist complex. Which is great, we went there, had a great day. So you just go to Tam Kok, rent a scooter, go to see all these places around. And there's so much more to do. And yes. it's a fantastic place to spend a few days. Again, a bit of a hidden gem compared to other places in Vietnam. So 
now we go to number, number one. one. Our and favorite then... place in Vietnam. We both agree with this. Yeah, I, when I was doing my list, I didn't think that will go to number one. I put it like lower, but then um, as more I was thinking about this, it was going higher, 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 and it ended up at, one, at number one. Yeah, so number, number one, one, the of best course. place. Hoi An! <laughs> yes! Magical town yeah. of Hoi An. Such a beautiful town, just walking through this. It's again, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the old town. Like the yellow buildings, walking through. It's just a magical place, honestly. The river in the middle. Yeah, yeah. and at night, lanterns everywhere. It's fantastic. Yeah. You'll feel yeah. so happy there. And you could do like the basket boat tour. You could do, it's a good oh, place yeah. to do a cooking class yeah, as we well. Can, you go uh, a little bit out of the city, you've got beaches as well. Yeah. It's, it has it all, I think. It's a fantastic place to it go to. It is a very touristy place. A lot of people come there to, make, to have their tailored made suits. Oh, yeah, yeah, suits it's famous for. Definite must go. And that is our list of top fives. We must, I must say, a lot of people's favourite place in uh, Vietnam is Ha Giang. We didn't go to Ha Giang, yeah. so that's oh, why it's yeah. not on the list. That could potentially be on there, yeah. but it was but, pouring down with rain, yeah. so that's why we didn't do it. And now thinking about this, Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh didn't make our top five. No, that's crazy. Even though I did like Hanoi, there's now so many I'm other places. Thinking, yeah, but when I was doing my list, I didn't even think about those things. No. So, yeah. But we did go to many other places, which we also loved. Yeah, but but these know, ones stick yeah. in our mind, and it is funny that they're all pretty much northern, quite under Nang, like middle to north. Yeah. Nothing down south made our list, we which is which we didn't even realize until we actually put these a together. A lot of people miss south of Vietnam, actually. So Ho Chi Minh was so, yeah, yeah. interesting because of the tunnel. Uh, we didn't even realize we're putting everything up north, but I must tell you that the north is probably. If you have, if you've got to decide between north and south, I'd say do. Yeah, and most people do do that. They're not. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm just a little bit got smart that Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh didn't make a list. Yeah. Hanoi actually, Hanoi is definitely a special mention. It's so much to do and it's a great city. Yeah. But Hanoi is a good place as well to do all the other places where we just mentioned. Yeah. The only thing what I didn't like why I didn't make my top list, uh, top five because it's just too easy. Like, it's very hectic, very hectic, but the old town is pretty cool to walk around. Yeah, it's quarter. amazing, but it was just too hectic from our, for us. Uh, we didn't see anything like this. Yeah. So uh, we hope this helped. Uh, if you disagree with anything, let us know. We know yeah. everyone's got different opinions of what they like and what they love. This is just our our opinion of what we experienced. So thank you so much for watching. See you, you can next like time. and subscribe, and yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye.